Hey, so what is the barrier of entry into IT or to advance in IT? Okay, and then this is a blanket statement across all of computer science, all coding, all systems administration, IT, information technology, all of it. What is the barrier to get in and to advance? Do you know? I don't know. I'm, I'm asking you. Can you please tell me? I'm just kidding. It's time. It takes time, okay? If you're starting from square one, meaning you don't know a thing about computers, it's going to take you time to familiarize yourself with computers in general, with electricity, with what the internet is, all of it, right? Now let's fast forward a little bit. Let's assume that you live in the 21st century, you've seen a computer, you're clearly versed in the use of, of a computer of some kind, whether it's a phone or a desktop or what have you, uh, because you're watching this video. And in order to advance your skills, it's going to take time. Everyone can learn these skills. I'm not exaggerating, I'm not being all whatever, saying like, you can do it too. <laughs> uh, but also I am kind of being like that, you can do it too. It just takes time. For some of you, it'll take 30 minutes and you'll master a new skill. I've met people like you. I'm jealous of people like you. <laughs> because it just, you're amazingly smart, congratulations. If you're, like me, it's gonna take you a little bit longer. It's gonna take quite a few minutes to figure this out. So that is, is basically the point of the whole video. It just takes time. You've got to kind of bash your head against the source material, against practice um, sessions, basically, until you uh, figure it out. <laughs> until it clicks, until you've pushed the book into your eyes enough uh, such that uh, it becomes part of your brain. And uh, that's really all it takes. <laughs> so you're gonna sit down and you're gonna start five minutes a day and you're just gonna stare at the source material and it's gonna make no sense. And hopefully that session of practice takes a little more time than five minutes. I mean, not that it takes more time in a, in a necessity kind of way, but um, hopefully you sit for longer than five minutes. Um, but you just have to carve out that time during your day, and that's why you start with five minutes. Open the book, read a few pages, turn on your computer, type something out. <laughs> you just have to set the time aside every day and do it. And uh, after a few days of doing that, you'll realize you've learned something. You'll realize, oh, Ed, I'm a little more familiar with this new skill. I'm a little more familiar with this material. And I can start to use it. But the trick is getting over that hump of starting the habit and then working through that incredibly uncomfortable feeling of learning. Because it is not fun. It's not <laughs> learning. Learning can be very fun. Learning can be enjoyable. It's, it's wonderful when things click and you can use new skills and you're like, wow, look what I've made. That's a great feeling. But, but learning is uncomfortable. Learning is hard. And I, I would call it unpleasant even. Uh, you don't understand what you're capable of now and in the future. You don't understand what the tool is capable of, whatever you're using and learning. You don't understand how to use it. You, it's, it's like jumping into a lake before you know how to swim. In this case, you won't die. There's no mortal danger. It's, it's just uncomfortable. And that is the barrier to get into and advance within IT. It's just time. Like I was saying, and I'll reiterate, it will click. It'll make sense. And it, you just spend time with it. <laughs> Long enough. Um, if it's too confusing, whatever you're studying, whatever you're practicing, you need to go simpler. You, need, you picked up the 201 book. You need the 101 book. That was something a, a professor explained to me years ago. I did an unrelated class to IT. But uh, they were saying, when you're reading and then you feel lost, you have to go back to the point where the, the text makes sense. It doesn't matter if it's a paragraph before or five pages back. But you have to go back to where it all makes sense and then build from there. Keep reading. So 
do a self-assessment. Figure out what you know and what you can do and then build off of that. Is it easy? I don't think it's easy because it takes time. <laughs> uh, setting up some kind of cloud infrastructure, let's say, ooh, cloud infrastructure, it, it sounds more complicated than it is because it's just another skill you have to add to yourself, to your knowledge base. At some point in your life, you didn't know how to tie your shoes, right? Have you ever watched a toddler try to tie their shoes? It's a, it's a measure of patience for the parent when you must leave the house and your kid can't tie their shoes, but if you help them, they will freak out. And so you wait and they figure it out. And fast forward 20 years, you don't even think about it. You just tie your shoes. It's not a problem. It's the same thing for all IT skills. You just grind it out. You push the book into your face <laughs> or the keyboard. <laughs> you hit your head on the wall enough times and eventually your code compiles and it works. You'll get there. But the hard part is actually carving out that time during the day, sitting down to do it again and again and again. And that's why it's difficult. That's why people don't do it because you, you, you get to like day 30 and you've made 5% of the progress you thought you were going to make. And it's like, why am I doing this? This is so frustrating. But uh, hopefully in those 30 days, you've actually had some victories and it, it motivates you to keep going. But you have to understand that once you put in enough time and enough effort, it will click. And you'll go, oh, hey, look at that. I can, I can print Hello World to the console. I can make... Uh, uh, that cloud infrastructure <laughs> that I was talking about earlier. I can do that just like you can tie your shoes now. So have some mercy for yourself. Go into it knowing it's going to take longer than you think. Go into it knowing that uh, every day might be a slog to build up that motivation and sit down and do it. But go into it knowing that you can do it, that you're capable of doing it, and that you're going to be successful. Just keep pushing through and you'll be there. That is the barrier to entry and the barrier to advancement. Good luck. <laughs>